so I had lipo with air sculpt and it is not the type of um or uh liposuction that you're thinking we're gonna go into detail okay but right now i need you to follow like and subscribe it's gonna be a very vulnerable post um i was disfigured by queen sculpting don't do hoop sculpting like just don't do it <laughs> do not do queen sculpting don't do anything the only sculpt you need to do is air sculpt and i'm gonna talk about it okay in a lot of details so, if you've been following me for a long time, if you've watched my video diaries, you know that I've been struggling with an, a very strange looking stomach. I had no idea that what I decided to do in Cape Town, South Africa with Cool Sculpting would change everything, right? So, let's go ahead and get into it. And we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about price. Oh, shit. We're going to talk about price. It's going to be before and after pictures. It's going to be everything. So, just get ready to get into it, okay? So, Cool Sculpting. Let's talk about what that is, all right? Um, it is a, a non-invasive procedure, okay, where they freeze the fat cells and their space is supposed to drain through your lymphatic system, all right? They put these machines on your stomach, freezes, and it freezes, 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 looks like a stick of butter, and it goes on. Now, I first heard about this when I was living in Cape Town, uh, 2020, no, 2020. And I found out about it, decided to give it a try. Now I went to a reputable company, a good place uh, for the first two, three times that I did it. And then when I went to this idiot, uh, everything changed. So basically, make a long story short, I moved. Uh, Why are you talking in Texas for free when you know me? You need to become a trained phone operator and sexter. Yes, we still getting coin. You can do this 100% anonymously in your drawers at home. We built your profile. We train you. We coach you. We do everything we need to, to make sure you get these results. So if you want to make some money sitting in your drawers at home, you need to come hit us up for a small investment fee. We do all the heavy work. So all you got to do is have a heavy bank account. All right. So go to mobilemoney365.com and hit us in the DM to get these coins, girl away from the place I was at. I was living in a, a luxurious hotel and within it, it had a spa and the person in there said they did the procedure. She came across to be a fucking idiot, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, it's not invasive. She's not like she's doing surgery, can't hurt. Well, I was all wrong about that. So let me go ahead and show y'all the video of the day that fucked up everything. You know what I'm saying? That started me on a whole journey. Now, I am going to discuss body dysmorphia and how it all plays a part into this in another post. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and put that notification bell on so that you can keep the um so you, you stay up because it's gonna be a little bit of a series, not a long one, but one that has many parts. So uh I've never been a big girl, I always felt big, I always thought my stomach was huge, and I the bitch led me to do cold sculpting in the beginning. And I am going to show you like how my body looked and things like that. Before I did it, you say, girl, you didn't need it. I didn't even need cool sculpting, but I didn't see it then. I thought I was fat, and that's why I manifested. Uh before we go any further, appreciate your motherfucking body. Okay. If you have body dysmorphia, seek therapy. Um, do what you need to do to challenge that because body dysmorphia would have you in the position that I was. Body dysmorphia is quite literally what got me in this position. hundred percent. I'm gonna go into detail about my entire journey with body dysmorphia in another post. But just know that that's what led me to do uh cool sculpting uh, or fat freezing to begin with. So let me share my screen so I can show y'all some stuff real quick. Uh, all right so if you play here this is the idiot okay this is some dumb bitch uh who we, it was don't even ask we was anyway so this is the machine that's the that's my upper abdomen and lower abdomen right and she's putting it on there and she's essentially freezing the fat the idea is to freeze it, Google it, and do it up yourself. And I'm sure if you found this video, you're thinking about doing cool sculpting. I have an awful experience with it, so just do not, um, just do not do it. Go ahead and go to Airscope. And I'm not, I, there's no sponsored by in this. Like, I'm not that type of person. Um, if I do choose, I would love a sponsoring deal with them, of course, because I'd stand by them and I would love to get paid for my promo. But I'm sharing this because it's true. Anyway, so let's get there in a minute. So we have this. It's on the, she put that machine on the top abdomen and the bottom abdomen, as you can see, right? The eye is, it, but I noticed in this particular session that um, it hurt. Uh, and normally cool sculpting doesn't hurt or fat freeze doesn't hurt. But she had that, especially my upper abdomen. She had that upper abdomen. She turned it up too fucking high. It, it, I remember like, it's like, 
like I felt it. I was like, this is like not as comfortable as I'm used to it being. So, you know, anyway, I, and I take full responsibility because we went to the spa like the month before or something like that. And she decided to not be with the spa no more. So she, put, so she brought all of her equipment to her, her apartment, which was still in the same hotel that I was, hotel slash apartment building. It was like, that's, you know, there, but it was like an apartment building slash hotel. And she I was, was in her apartment and did it. She wasn't really knowledgeable about anything. She was kind of stupid about a, a, a couple of other treatments I was asking about. She was kind of dumb. And I don't know if it was this one or another one, but I remember at one point she was kind of reading the pamphlet telling me about it. I'm like, this bitch is dumb. But I was again thinking, all right, well, she, um, there can't be no harm. Because I had done this before. I'm like, okay, it's not like she's actually doing surgery. It's not like I'm getting butt shots or nothing. She's simply going to the machine, press the button. It cannot do any harm. Now, that goes back to another thing. Nobody ever warned me that it was something that could, could really go wrong with this. Like, you know, you talk to the people, you do your research. It never came out, came up that anything could go wrong with cool sculpting that with that freezing. Like, the only thing that was maybe your results won't be drastic. That's like the worst I found. I didn't even know it was a possibility that anything could go wrong. But I'm going to get to how I found it out here coming out. So anyway, so we did this. You see that, all right? So let me give you a little bit of more insight on, on like what my body looks like when I went in, all right? So I'm going to show y'all um, <coughs> what my body was looking like. My body was fucking beautiful already. This is just like around the time. And um, here we go right here, me dancing. Stomach was flat. Stomach body was beautiful. You know, no weird ass shit going on there. So, you know, that was just a little bit of like where I was, you know. And um, I'm also going to show y'all just a couple of more just things so you can see what was going on. But body dysmorphia had me doing stupid shit. You know, it's kind of what happens when you have body dysmorphia. Your judgment is just simply not what's up. You know what I'm saying? And so let me give y'all more context here just to give it to you. All right, so here, stomach was flat. This is around the time that I, this, I was in Cape Town, South Africa. This is around the first time that I got it. This is around that time, you know? So my stomach was already flat, but I couldn't see it then. It's very weird. Anyway, so I think you get the gist of it, right? Um, I didn't need it to begin with, but, you know, just like I'm sure some of y'all are doing, I just needed a little more, a little more. Well, if you're going to need a little more, go to air sculpt. And we're going to talk about air sculpt in a minute. All right, cool. So, so a little bit after this, so that was in the the time that I did it that I think fucked up everything. I don't was that was like August of 2021. So I started noticing that my stomach was the upper abdomen, the lower abdomen started to just be a little weird. Look like it started kind of to contrive out as if I had like two stomachs. And we're, I'm gonna show you how it really looked. You're gonna see that. Just go, listen. So what I found out is that, you know, it can, it, it, you start to see the condition and the condition is called PAH. Okay. It's some, I think there was some long ass medical term. We'll get into that in a minute. So what I found out is that, that it can, I started noticing like my stomach starting to kind of be a little weird. Like my, my upper abdomen, lower abdomen was like separated by my belly button. You know, and it was like, I was like, well, it's kind of weird, but it wasn't that bad. It, it started, but it got progressively worse. I started noticing, 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 those getting worse and worse. So fast forward to um, 2023, it, it was really, I was, it was just, I was working out very hard and my stomach just wasn't seeming to go nowhere. And I'm like, okay, because I always had a personal trainer. I'm somebody who's always been active, but I'm like, okay, my stomach is just not going down. I thought, okay, well, I'm just maybe, I mean, because I'm in my 30s, maybe because of that, like, because I don't know why my stomach is not going down. I'm used to being able to do that boom bop in the gym and I already see something. You know, I see something, but I wasn't seeing shit. It was a very strange thing. So 2024 rolls around. I'm not doing any better. I'm hitting the gym very hard. I'm traveling and shit, going back to South Africa. I'm hitting the gym hard, lifting heavier weights. And I started seeing some results. Like I started seeing some obliques come. I started seeing some other stuff come, but let's rewind a bit. So I, when I was in 2023, whenever I was in, um, in Colombia, uh, I was thinking about getting like, uh, a form of laser lipo there. It was supposed to be, you can be awake when you do it. Uh, they, they burn the fat cells. They're gone. All of that stuff. And, you know, it's not as harsh on, on, on 
as uh, other lipo and recovery is supposed to be very, very simple. When I was living in Medellin, Colombia, so I went for a consultation. And when I did the consultation, the lady was like, that may be a hernia. So that's how my stomach was looking. And I'm going to show you all in a second. That's how my stomach was looking. It was looking like it was herniated because it was this, these bulges. It was two bulges, but mainly my upper abdomen was looking really abnormal. I'm like, okay. I'm like, nah, hernia is a painful. Like, I feel like I would know if I had hernia. I looked it up. I'm like, my stomach don't look like that. So I just kind of dismissed it. Then, uh, fast forward, I'm in Cape Town. Um, I ended up going to do another non invasive treatment, laser lipo, where they put the little laser things and melts the fat and you sweat it out. Okay, cool. I did that. And you get in the sauna. I did that. And that person was like, mm, you may have a hernia. I like, okay. So then I went to a general practitioner who said, yeah, it looks like a hernia. So then I went on this whole journey, try to get insurance in Cape Town, South Africa, so I can have an operation. Okay. So that didn't end up working out. And then I thought I ended up injuring my hernia, which led me to say, you know what? I'm not able to get insurance here. I'm not paying for this shit out of pocket in Cape Town. I'm just going to go home because if I have that hernia surgery, I want to be home. So I came home. And my mom and, I, and my mom made a, another appointment with a general practitioner. Again, I've not seen a hernia specialist or had any X-ray at this point. It's just by sight, these medical people are telling me it looks like a hernia, which it did look fucked up. So anyway, I um then I get here, I get to Louisiana and I get an X-ray ultrasound and a CAT scan. Nothing came back as a hernia. So I'm thinking, what the fuck? So then I think, okay, maybe my fat just just grows this way. I mean, maybe this is just what happens. It just grows this way. And, but I also knew that I couldn't handle it anymore. I knew that too. I also knew that I simply could not handle the way I was looking anymore. I knew that I was gonna, like, I was like sitting down with mom, like, okay, I'm gonna have to go to get like liposuction or something. Like, I, I mean, maybe I need to go back to Columbia or something and do it. And she's like, you don't want to go over there and travel and do all that. And I'm like, you know what? You're probably right. I don't really want to have that kind of surgery, um, you know away from family or anything like that and i don't know what they saying i'm like mm. so then i just did a quick google search and air sculpt came up okay so let's talk about air sculpt all right um so it was i have seen these ads before but i was like okay yeah 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 whatever but i really started like looking at it you know what i'm saying i really started looking at it and it was just very similar to the operation i wanted to get in columbia okay um, I'm going to show y'all the Instagram page. Um, Instagram page. Okay. All right. So let me show you shirt screen and get rid of this shirt screen. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So here's the Instagram you know, you see the before and afters, you see people doing this. And what's really cool about it is, you know, there were no BMI requirements. The downtime is 48 hours. Um, you know, they're removing the fat. And I learned along this journey that something I didn't know, you have a finite amount of fat cells. So once they're gone, they're gone. So let me tell you my plan. I was going to just work out because I've been back and forth between surgery and working out this whole time because it just became unbearable. But with the body dysmorphia, it's, it's wise to be sure you're at a healthy mindset before you invest in any kind of surgery because that is a mental thing. And if you don't fix that, you're just going to feel fat with the surgery and it can lead to eating disorders. It could be a problem. I'm definitely going to be going into detail with that. But I want to keep this about clean sculpting and air sculpt. Okay. Anyway, so you see the results here. Um, and you can be awake. It's no general anesthesia. You can do it on any part of the body that you see fat. Um, you know, you're in and out the same day. Recovery seemed to be relatively easy compared to what I had seen, um, with lipo. Cause I was looking at doing actual lipo in Cape Town. And I was like, looking at these YouTube videos, these girls just the, just recovery just seemed like fucking hell. And from what I understand, lipo was just very hard on the body. I just kind of felt like lipo, traditional lipo wasn't the route, but I still wasn't sure. But then I found this place. Okay. So, you know, anyway, no downtime. Uh, well, not, no, I'm not saying that time. Like two, two, uh, two day, you know, as far as downtime, minimal pain, uh, all of that shit. So I'm like, okay, this seems like it's for me. But I was like, oh my God, it's in America. It's going to cost a million dollars. And I don't know about all that. 
But so then I just went on that thing and I saw they had financing options. You can finance it, right? You don't have to pay all of it. My credit is great. So I'm like, okay, let me just see. I must do a virtual consultation. So this is where we're going to get into the real shit. All right. Now we're going to show you some shit that I never, I, I had to really get mentally prepared to show. But I'm going to show y'all my consultation pictures that I sent in for them to see if I approved or whatever. They wanted you to be pinching whatever areas you wanted gone. You know what I'm saying? And so after doing my research, I looked everywhere and I was like, okay, I'm just going to submit. It's free. I'm going to do it. So let me share with this with y'all. Let's see. All right, y'all. So this is me. This is May 4th of this year, 2024. I was holding the top bulge. If you look like right here, this is bulging past my finger. You know what I'm saying? And it was that and that. No one knows that my stomach was ever this big. Not my followers. Not if we weren't having sex and I hadn't had sex in a long time. If I, if you weren't in a position where you were living with me or staying over my house for a long period of time, you would have never known my stomach was this huge. I'm someone who's a nudist. I'm someone who always show my body, but, th but this whole, my stomach looked like this completely changed everything. I, I saw the dressing baggier, you know, I would have, you know, a, a shapewear underneath, sometimes two kind of shapewears to make myself look not as fucking insane. And that's it. That's, that's the top bulge and that's the bottom bulge. Okay. That was, that's what I sent in. You see how big and giant my stomach was. And I'm going to show y'all going to see more. Trust me. I'm going to show y'all more, but I need y'all to understand how impactful this was on my life. I, I throw orgies. I am someone who loves to show my body. And I, though I have body dysmorphia, it's a crazy thing. I'm going to really touch on body dysmorphia in a video, but y'all this affected everything. I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel, um, anything, um, positive about the way I looked it was many tears feeling helpless and I it, it may appear as if I didn't work out and it's so not the case I mean I was I was in the gym with a personal trainer three times a week like going hard you know what I'm saying and that stomach was staying the way it is now this is about three weeks after I got back from Cape Town but I, st I had to, at this point I was out of the gym probably about a couple of months because I stopped in like early March when I thought I injured my hernia because it started hurting. So anyway, so this is the, these are the consultation pictures that I sent in. So then they quickly responded back with a quote and um, I'll tell you the price and all that shit. When I feel like telling y'all, I'll tell y'all at some point in this video, they responded back with a quote. And then the next day, someone named Kendra called and just kind of answered all of my questions. I was asking how long can I, I mean, when can I work out? You know, I was asking you know, all of my questions, they answered all of the questions. So it was May 4th. And then by, and that was, I don't know, maybe a Sunday or a Saturday by that Wednesday, I was sure I was going to do it. I did all the research I could do. Only thing you can do to research it is to go on TikTok, on Instagram, go on YouTube. I looked at countless videos. I did all of the research that was possible to do. And something in my spirit felt like this was the move. I followed my intuition a lot. I feel like this is the move. Everything about it feels right. Everybody's professional. Everybody's responsible. I love the, that it's that, it's that, I, that, you know, uh, that I'm awake the whole time. I love that everyone's talking about how relatively painful this shit, this shit is. Like, I, I'm painless. I'm sorry, this is. I love that the fat cells are being eliminated. Now, I, my plan was to work out, and I was going to, like, still go to Columbia and remove the fat cells because fat cells can't grow back. I want the, my, and I'm going to work out anyway. I'm not somebody who's just going to not work out. I'm going to work out anyway. So it's not like, I'm not going to be one of them bitches, like, with a flat stomach with a wide-ass face, like, and, and wide-ass arms. It's a fat bitch with a flat stomach. That's not a good look. And if you push it hard enough, you can get bigger. It just, I, I'm not doing all that, okay? I am not playing. I've been acting my whole life. I'm going to keep that same energy. So I was going to just be active and then once I got my stomach down to where it wasn't going to cost me very much I was going to go to Columbia and have them just simply get the rest of the little the little bit of fat that was left after in my mind I was going to work out so I was going to just have them remove that so that I would never have to worry about fat cells being fat like a fat stomach ever again okay that was my plan but you know here we are so then you know after I was talking she sent me a quote to get she said you know you could just do the front abdomen but you could also do the um 
you could I do recommend doing the full abdomen, which is the the back, the waist, the waist, the front ab, up abdomen, lower abdomen, waist, flank, like your hair back, your whole abdomen would just be there. And it's just like a few more thousand more. So I did that, and she gave me a promo or whatever. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm fucking doing it. So that was then, and then we did the surgery on May 17th. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to show y'all some content about the day that I went to get the surgery. So let's see. What is play? Let's see. This is a day. All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all. So this is the day of my air scope, lipo surgery, a life changing thing. I'm on the toilet right now. I ate kale and quinoa last night. It's just blowing through me. Um, so I just wanted, you know, no idea why I even, why I even made a video. That was a, what the fuck I was talking about. So, um, <laughs> so okay, did I stop sharing? Okay, all right. But anyway, that was the day of, right? And so, and I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana right now with my mom, and we drove three hours to Dallas, okay? And then, yeah, um, I think I make a separate video, like, about actual preparation and what goes into preparing, but I'll give you a little bit here. You want to eat a full meal before you go in because the medication is going to really get you where you need to be. Uh, you know, you need a full stomach with the medication. You're going to have Xanax, a whole bunch of other shit, you know, and the... um. The, uh, the numbing stuff and all that. So anyway, we ended up going and I'll give y'all a little bit of, you know, us walking up to the build. You need to come hit us up for a small investment fee. We do all the heavy work. So all you got to do is have a heavy bank account. All right. So go to mobilemoney365.com and hit us in the DM to get these coins, girl. Then and stuff. Hold on. All right, so here we are, air scoped to get this fat up off me. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I'm looking really dusty and run over, so I'll just give y'all a little bit more. I'm a YouTuber. I have to record everything. That's the office babe, baby. Okay, so that's me and my beautiful mom, who I love so very much. So the office is very beautiful, very clean, very professional. I don't think that's important. And then go in, you feel like a paperwork. Oh, no. What are this? All right. Well, actually, hold on. Anyway, so you go and fill out the paperwork, all that stuff. So they take us back. Okay, you have to take a pregnancy test when you go. Be sure you're not pregnant. Wasn't knocked up. That's great. So anyway, talk to the nurse, everything cool. They tell us what to expect. So then the, the doctor comes. This is where she gets interesting. Now, this is when I find out that I have FAS. So I had a feeling that it was going to be some issue. I had a, I, I had a feeling it was going to be something. Because I, I, I thought it was something right, not right with my stomach. I, and I always felt like that fat freezing procedure had something to do with it. Because I remember how painful it was. And I noticed that my fucking stomach was the shape of the fucking thing. So I guess this is where I'll go ahead and show y'all the... Oh, I don't even have this. Oh, shit. I don't even, that's, tri I'm tripping. Okay, y'all, don't be annoyed with me. I actually don't even, that's retarded. I thought I saved them pictures. How did I not save those pictures? I didn't save them pictures. That's crazy. All right, so I'm going to show y'all, uh, give me a second. I'm going to talk to y'all while I go actually and find what I'm looking for. So I'm going to show y'all the pictures that they took of me before the surgery. And this is when I'm going to, you're going to understand what the fuck was wrong. <laughs> you think I'm just joking. You're going to see. What the pre-op photos were. I got to uh, do it right now. So uh, we go in there and the, the first surgeon, I was assigned to a surgeon. Okay. And the first surgeon said, you know, can you tell me about those bulges that you have. Tell me about those. And I was like, oh my God, this is, I can't believe I'm looking at these pictures. These pictures are absolutely awful. All right. So they were like, uh, tell me about these bulges you have. And I was like, well, blah, 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 blah. And I did cool scope. And it's like, oh, 
you did a cool sculpting. I was like, yeah. It's like, oh, the first surgery is like, oh, we will. Yeah, it's not really much we can do to help you. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> it was like, yeah, um, we, we, that you're going to need. They were like, okay, let me show y'all now. They were like, you're going to need, um, well, I'm having a brain fart. You're going to need a tummy tuck. The first doctor was like, did you know that fat freezing can make your, um, okay, y'all, let me show y'all. All right. So this is what, this is, this is the little, what it, what it was. They were like, did you know that fat freezing can make your stomach bigger? And he explained this thing called FAS and how it makes the tissue kind of hard and it's very difficult to get out. And basically they can't help me at Airscope. I'm going to need a tummy tuck. Like I'm going to need something else because it's nothing that they can do. He was like, I've done patients with what you have. And that shit was not, that didn't like, um, that they didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like they weren't happy. So y'all look at this. Do you see this? This is what it ended up being. Do y'all see that shit? Like I need y'all to see, do y'all see that? That was the shape of my stomach. It was looking absolutely insane. This is what I was living with. This is what I was hiding. This is what I was ashamed of. This is why I didn't want to go and see certain friends. This is why I don't want to have another ETL orgy. This is why. Right there, because that is how my stomach was looking. It was weird. It was very strange. And again, that's why the doctors thought it was a hernia. Y'all see what I'm saying? Why they thought that that was a hernia? They looked like it looked like it was a hernia. It was like, what is that bulge? What is this bulge? Just this bulge. We want to say what this bulge is. Nobody understood and knew what that bulge was. But that is how I was walking around this bitch looking absolutely crazy and deformed and disfigured. And another model, I think Linda Evangelista, she sued the people at Cool Sculpting because she got something done here with, with Cool with Fat Freezing. And it was a similar thing, like that fucking bulge. And y'all, it was, I felt horrific. It was, I, I just got so used to not looking in the mirror. So this is what I was dealing with, okay? So we got that part. So then, you know, and, and then so I was, I was like, okay, so I put my clothes back on. I'm like, okay, well, I guess the journey begins. I guess I'm going to have to go find a tummy tuck doctor. Then, because I hadn't paid for anything, I got approved for the, easily approved for the loan because I wasn't paying all this money out of pocket. And so I was like, well, is the manager going to refund the money? Well, I didn't spend anything. Am I going to get that back? How are we going to work out the money thing? And so then the manager uh, came back in and she was like, hey, we have a surgeon. We have a, um, we have a surgeon, our, our top surgeon. He actually trains everyone. He wants to take a look. And if he can't fix it, then we're going to just make sure you get the money back and go and it's okay. And I said, okay. He came in and said, I got it. I can fix it. He was asking me questions. He was like, when did you start noticing these bulges? Was it right after the fat freezing? And thinking back, I, and when I was talking to him, I was like, well, no, I, it wasn't right after. He was like, okay, so I don't think you have that. that you, I can fix this. I've had patients like this before. I got you. And he was like confident as fuck. But as I think about it, it wasn't all of the other ones. All the other ones were fine. I didn't have this issue. It was that last one that I talked about that I showed y'all that fucked up everything. So I, and after I read more about this, I absolutely have it. Okay. So he was like, I got you. We're going to take care of it. So before I, and I'm going to have footage of the actual surgery and everything I'm going to show y'all. But first, let's talk more about what the condition was that I had. All right. So how common is paradoxal apidose hyperplasia after cool sculpting? Okay. So, you know, it's basically when it's a rare, serious, but serious condition of cool sculpting. It's a result of overgrowth of unwanted fat, aquidose tissues that appears after the treatment and may confuse patients at first. SPH can take anywhere from eight to six weeks to develop. And that's about right. It wasn't immediate. It took about that time. And I just noticed it kept getting like bigger and bigger. And I was working out. I was fucking confused. It was a big mind fuck. So you mix that with body dysmorphia. You have a very confused, unhappy person. That's what I was. At first, you think you made a mistake, blah, blah, blah. It's not at the fault of the patient. Instead, it's, a, it's a directly a full cool sculpting, all right? 
So uh, cycle is a process that cool sculpting uses to destroy subcutaneous fat, except for the damage, blah, blah, blah. Once the damage occurs, an overgrowth of fat appears and begins to look like the cool sculpting uh, instrument itself and becomes raised. So, so, okay. Y'all remember my pictures. Let's, 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 let's go back to the pictures. Remember when it said it looks like the instrument itself? All right. So I want us to look at the, at this shit real quick. It looks just like the instrument. It was one instrument. It was one device here and one device here. That's exactly what it was. So let's go back to more about that information because it's, so if you have cool sculpting and you're noticing this, you, you, you need, this is the good information for you. All right. So raised fat deposit, a uh, newly apparent fat in a rectangular shape. You saw that bulging and swelling of the area. You saw that, uh, fat deposits that are fine enough. Like my top was kind of fuzzy. When I did the ultrasound, it was like, it feels firm. So that's why we thought it was a hernia because hernias can feel firm. Like it, it was just crazy. All right. So what does it look like? Thick raised fat in the treatment area, a pocket or area, it's, it, it, it increases in size as time progresses. And it did, y'all. It, it it just got bigger and bigger and more and more strange looking. It just wasn't cool. All right? So this is very rare. So if you're considering doing it, then do it. But I, I just say fuck all of that, honestly. I, I'm not going to be a component of clean sculpting. Why would I after my experience? However, I cannot negate the fact that I'm rare. And and I manifested it. I mean, if you have body dysmorphia, you're literally putting in the universe, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. You know, you or whatever your thing is, your thing could be you got bags under your eyes or whatever. And then, you know, so for me, it manifests some very rare shit that makes my stomach look absolutely big and crazy. Then it's not that much of a surprise. You know, I, I own that. I did that. And if you're new to me, then you will know that I don't have a problem owning any of my shit. I manifested this. We will get more to that when it comes down to the details of my body dysmorphia journey. All right. So, uh, so it says, I just mentioned the supermodel. She did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so where's the treatment for it? Okay. Unfortunately, treatment for it is not easy. Uh, in the first place, the condition will not go away or improve on its own. Those who suffer must seek professional medical treatment. It's only effective medicine it, it is, is the removal of the fat, fatty deposit. An invasive liposuction procedure. Okay. Uh, workout exercise does not work. I, I don't know where it's going to say it in there. This may. Okay. I forget. Okay. Anyway, so we got that. So then, let's give y'all a little bit more little info here. Okay. All right. So let me. All right. Let me share this screen too. All right. So I just want to go highlight the part where it says uh, symptoms of PAH, uh, bulging or swelling, new fat in the bulge area treatment does not go away with further treatment, diet, or exercise, which explains why nothing I was doing was working. So this is kind of loaded, right? Because I know it was times where, you know, a couple of people were trying to tell me to talk, talk about my fucking diet, which was annoying because I knew that wasn't it. And I was working out. And, you know, I had a guy in my life, though he didn't mean it, he definitely made, he didn't mean, it just, he just didn't make me feel the best about my body and how I was looking. Um, and it was smaller than that then. And, you know, he kept trying to talk about putting the work. It's just kind of like, this just goes to show you that you don't know what the fuck people are going through. So we need to, we really need to stop, myself included, commenting on people's bodies. Because we really don't know. That whole time, people can look at me and think I'm just fat and lazy. Actually, I'm in the gym more than you. And my I've never had a horrible diet. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I've never had a horrible diet. And my diet is as good as it's going to get. Because it's, I'm not going to be vegan or do no crazy ass shit like that. People tell me I need to be vegan. I need to give up meat. I need to cut back on sugar. No, I need. I, mis, I had a whole fucking disorder due to a malfunction of this bullshit. So that's what happened with that. Okay, let's, let's get back to the surgery. So I, it was time for the surgery. Let me show y'all this little video of the operating room and stuff. Give me a second.
<clears throat> all right, so I'm about to get this going. I'm all marked up. Ooh, I'm marked up. Here's my room. All right. I'll see you saw that. And then, uh, yep. this is me. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hive. I'm high. I'm high. <laughs> no, I'm just on uh, drugs. I'm about to get ready to do the air sculpting thing at um, the one in Dallas. And uh, this is interesting because I i don't do anything intoxicating. So it's just interesting, like, feeling how it feels. But anyway, the procedure's going to start soon. That's all I got to say. I'm high. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying I'm high. So speaking of me being high, um, they gave you Xanax. So they gave you Xanax, a shot in your arm, things to help you calm down. And then the next thing, uh, he, they, and then they, I have a sort of eight incisions. So it's two, no, seven, two here. Wait, let me stop sharing. So it's two here, two here, like my hip area, which are taking the longest to heal. Two in my lower abdomen, like two under my whatever whatever it is, and then like one like literally right here. Okay, and so they put the numbing stuff in. So when they put the numbing shit in, um, that was uncomfortable in the time. So you know, it's not oh my god, a little bad type of pain, but it's like that. Um, so let's show y'all the rest. Okay. <clears throat> That's sucking fat on my back. Hello, people. I'm um, getting this is the skin tightening part, and that's my fat over there from my back. Um, I feel um, very relaxed and like I just want to have the best nap ever. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't have a feeling like any. I feel something, but I'm not in any. So, yeah, that's all I want to tell y'all. I'll be back later. All right, so with that uh so that's the, so they take the fat out then they go back and they actually tighten the skin so that's what he's doing there and um it, it's like feels like a vibrator kind of thing and it was a couple of times where like he the and the the and the numbing stuff didn't get inside uh didn't get in the right place so if he pokes something i'd be like i feel it there and he's like okay i'll put more numbing in there so that's it um yeah this is my fat coming out it's a surreal thing. This is interesting. The doc says it's coming out good. So we're coming out, I guess, normally. Yeah, good shit. I don't have nothing else to say. <laughs> yeah. All right, so my stomach actually wasn't that big. It was, they, they pump you up with a lot of the numbing fluid. So that's that, okay? And I was just looking at my fat. You know, I'll just looking at my fat go there. Let's see. Can I make this bigger? I guess I can't. Yeah, like that's like my fat right there going in there and into the tube. So that was cool. Um. So, yeah, you know, so after that, they put you in your faha and you drive home. So when I drove home, um. Well, I didn't drive home, obviously. I was still, I was still high. The most painful part of the whole thing was when I first like woke up initially the day of when I got out of the car. We drove three hours back. I got out of the car and I was like, shit, this kind of hurts. But that was still about a five, six. It wasn't like, oh my God, I'm going to die because I went to sleep. So then the next two days was a lot of sleeping. They give you a bunch of ibuprofen. The medication is not even that high. I mean, not even that crazy. They give you ibuprofen and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so you have to stay in your Faha two weeks. And today is actually the 14th day. So let me show you how I, how I looked. I wish this would hurry up. Let me show you how I looked um, two days after. 
So you can you can't take your garment off. Oh my god, I look hideous. We will not show that. Where is the other picture? You know, I'm not gonna be having myself looking crazy as hell on here. You know, millions of people watch my videos. I can have that. Bro, like where is the picture that I put on here? Damn, how the fuck do I block that? Um well, I, well, y'all know I'm cute. I'm just about to be ugly on here. All right, let me show y'all. All right, so this is two days after. Okay, I'm looking hideous. My hair's nappy. But, you know, I still have the mockings on me. This is why I was getting ready to take my very, very, very first shower. Okay? And so, yeah, as you see, it's a huge difference already. But, you know, still a lot of swelling. All right? So... Uh, all right. So recovery. And recovery is cool. You're in your faha. You're in your garment. Um, the you're in your garment. The uh, for two you can only you can only spend an hour out of it a day. And um, I don't know. It it, it was pretty easy. I mean, I I definitely would say that uh, though you're not on heavy drugs, they give you antibiotics and they give you that and they give you um the ibuprofen. And I would just say I was kind of drowsy. I was just sleepy a lot because, you know, though it was like 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. So though it's not like fucking Oxycontin or nothing like that, you you are sleepy. You know, you are drowsy. And uh, so I was just doing that. So I wasn't really, I really wanted to focus on a lot. I really couldn't really make content really. So now y'all know if y'all follow me why I went like a long, a bit of a while between posting videos because I was just, I say I was high. It was easy taking a shower, stuff like that. I mean, everything, everything's really cool. All right, so now uh, it was a very. It's just, I just can't keep telling how the recovery. Recovery was just very easy. I don't know what to say. It was just a very easy. It was easy. Um, you know, it's itchy. You're gonna itch. Um, you are going to um, because you, you you're healing and the incisions and. You know, it's still a little sore. Like some of my incisions are still tender to the touch. Your body feels a little like weird, kind of. I'm still swollen now, uh, but the improvements are just absolutely uh, mind blowing. So, let me show y'all the quote unquote final before and after. When I say final, it's my two week thing. Where is my shit? Like, why am I not finding? Where I want to show y'all, like, this is a little annoying. Okay, y'all got to bear with me because I'm going to have to send y'all. I'm going to have to send myself the picture, but I thought I did. Why is it not in there? I'm just, I, I don't know. Um, while I'm looking for the picture, let me just say, uh, if you're thinking about doing Aeroscope, do it. Oh, and by the way, it costs $15,000. That's the price. That's how much it costs. $15,000. And because my credit is great, I got approved for twenty two thousand dollars, but I only needed fifteen, so that's great. You know, pay your bills, pay your bills, because it comes in handy. So I'm gonna be paying it off uh, sooner, but I spread it out really far, and then I'm just gonna um, pay it off um, as soon as possible. Um, Airsco changed my life. Uh, it changed my life. Um, I, I, living like that, uh, wasn't really going to work for me. I couldn't handle it anymore. And I went for my one week follow-up. Everything looked good. So I'm very happy to report that. Uh, let me download this. Cause I'm, I'm finna show y'all the official before and after. And mind you, I am still swollen, but I am incredibly proud of my progress. All right. So let me show y'all. Bear with me. Here we go. There it is. This was yesterday. Do you see that shit? Do you see that? That's crazy. Let's zoom in on that. This was May 17th, and this was yesterday. My stomach is fucking, I, it, it, it is really, y'all, it is really a mind fuck in a good way 
to like wake up and your stomach is flat and to I, I at one point I never thought I was going to see my body again I I really learned a valuable lesson to appreciate my body and healing body dysmorphia another video entirely but look at it's basically flat I am sucking in a bit there baby okay I'm always gonna suck in just a little bit but still I like look at the side view look at this you still see a little bit of the ridges there of the up and about abdomen, but it's just two weeks in, you know, shit gets better. Like shit gets absolute. Like they said that it's still going to continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as time goes on six months to see your full results, but two weeks, and I'm still swollen. Like I, like I can feel the swelling, like on my lower abdomen and my upper abdomen are still experiencing some swelling. So this is not even as flat as it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? This right here is the incision. There's no real scarring. Like that's going to go away in time. And so that's it, y'all. So I've like literally given y'all my life here. And, you know, I, it's so much I can say, but I will, I swear by Aeroscope, everything that they advertise, you get. Everything. Everything that they say is exactly what they deliver. Everything. And again, I do not have any type of, affiliation with them as far as promo let her please trust and believe that i do want that deal whatever i want to be a fucking ambassador of airscope i would love to be and i'm not gonna promote nothing that i don't stand by why would i that's stupid that's not me so that's it for this video i'm gonna be making other videos about this i'm gonna keep y'all updated but that is my whole journey with cool sculpting and air scoped and now i'm gonna make some shorter videos i'm gonna make another video that's just getting straight into air sculpt experience and then i'm gonna make another video that's just straight up into the 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 cool sculpting so i would say save yourself time and money just go to air scoped finance it <laughs> if you don't have it it's like every objection one would have it's like slapped down with something that they offer if you don't want to pay it all up front don't I didn't. I didn't want to. Um, I don't want y'all count my pockets, but I had the option. I don't want to. I don't fucking want to. I don't want to give y'all 15000 But I didn't have to. It's, I, I, it, 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 it's like I'm sitting here now wearing this, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm sitting here right now. Like, I'm still swollen. This is like swollen. But I'm sitting here right now, y'all. And I'm standing up and I'm talking to y'all right now. And I'm not hiding behind a blanket or a big ass daishiki. I didn't know when I was going to be able to do that. <sighs> I wanted to cry because I was talking to Kendra, which is kind of like my BFF throughout. She's like the, I say she's a salesperson, but whoever she is, she was my person I was texting and communicating with from the Aeroscope team. These people are professional. They care. They do what they say they're gonna do. I have like I, I I can't. I'm sitting here right now. And I cannot think of a negative thing to say about my experience. They always answer the phone when you call. I have a million questions. They answer all my questions. These people changed my life. I I I I I wasn't really living. I was. It was this. It was so hard for me, y'all. Like, y'all have no idea. Well, maybe you do. If you've been following my video diaries, which I suggest you do, you see how everything has come full circle. So, <laughs> I hope this video was insightful. Ask me questions, I answer. Love y'all. Peace. Why are you talking and texting for free when you know me? You need to become a trained phone operator and sexter. Yes, we still getting coin. You can do this 100% anonymously in your drawers at home. We build your profile. We train you. We coach you. We do everything we need to to make sure you get these results. So if you want to make some money sitting in your drawers at home,